so today I will show you rotation matrix 3D point data so example you have the 3D uh, boy data like this so you want to rotate this figure about the Z axis and this will parallel with the OS axis and the OY axis and you can see uh, this is the result right this is the result you want and this is the code you can use this code and you can see here here okay and then the result this is the result as you can see okay okay and this is this is the result this is the original data and this is the result okay now I will show you how can we do this in MATLAB actually uh, in this topic we have two topics first one and two as you see so today I will show you one by one so we go with the first number one here first okay okay it, it, this is the course for the for the first one so I will try to show to you and run uh, using for example one one two three four for for the input data here to run this is 3d for, for data as you see here this is a full code okay now we try with number one let's see for seven in this case as you see you try and in this case you have the original data this is in blue and then you rotate 82 degree ah, and you see okay and in this case you have to P try to open P and this is P new and the main important thing in this topic this is the Z coordinates of the new data and the original data should be the same as you can see here yeah, we can check you see this is original data right here yeah, this is the Z and this is original uh, this is new data and this is Z you see they don't change they change only S and Y coordinates but for Z corners they keep the same value is this correct okay this is the point so now I will change the angle again for example, in this case, I change only 3D, 10 degree. I will do this F5. Let's see how about the result. Okay, the result. As you see, 10 degree, and it's, in this case, it run it's rotates counterclockwise. You see this this angle. Right, right. 10 degree or 40 degree. As you can see, it's rotates counterclockwise. You see, right? And uh, if you want to rotate in the clockwise, for example, here in this direction, so how can you do? The main thing here is the rotation matrix. You can guess it from here. Okay. from this rotation matrix now I will show you the samurai okay and here is the samurai if you want row test counterclockwise you use this rotation matrix and clockwise you use this rotation matrix okay so in this case I wrote this counterclockwise that's why we use this matrix this value theta the angle uh, example if you you have two way to do first you keep the same rotation matrix but you change the size to be minus let's see uh, you see it's clockwise direction clockwise rotation uh, you, you, you still keep the same value of angle but you change the side here to be positive and here to be negative and now let's run let's see 
Ah, the same result, okay? So it's to be counterclockwise. Okay, no, I don't. Okay, this is the idea. Okay, now we test with the example 2. The input data 2. Let's see. Okay, in this case, I will test 10, 40 degree. You see, you have original data and you rotate test 40 degree and the direction is counter close Y ok, it's correct nah? so you can also check the new data and the original data and new data you see the Z code don't change don't change just change S and Y only very good very good ok and now you test number the example 3 F5 you press and you can see I will test 40 degree you have original data like this and you wrote this oh it's correct it's correct you also can check the old data uh, the original data and the new data you see the chain only S and Y coded only but Z code us we don't chain exactly 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 the same exactly the same you see the Z code is the same for the new data and this is for the old data exactly the same and now one more thing we check with the fourth example F5 ok you see we want it to rotate sorry we want it to rotate in, the, in a counterclockwise and 40 degree right I see the rest color exactly exactly the result and now we check we see original data and the new data you see the Z corners is the same can you also check here you see it is it, exactly the same for the new and the original corners okay very good very good so we finish the first one now we go to number two so number two to do this we have two methods the first one and the second one now I will show you one by one okay so for the first using BCA methods here actually you can see it here this is the main idea how to rotate this They're using the PCA okay and then this is rotation matrix Okay, so we did it in uh, my lab, but because here, because we we use the rotation matrix is equal to the eigenvector obtained from the PCA, the principal component analysis. That's why there have small error for the Z corners. That's why I here I try to use this to be the same. Z corner because as you know the Z corner should be the same for the new uh, data and the original data okay number one you use the same right and then the the problem here is you don't know the rotation direction clockwise or counterclockwise Actually, I will run this pass for you to we see. Okay, you press Shift Control and you run with test one. Okay, here is correct rotate test to parallel with OS and OY. But the problem is you don't know the rotation direction counter clockwise or clockwise. And one more question is, for example, after you rotate, the data, now you want to rotate back to be the original data. How can you do that? So you need to know the angle of the rotation and then you use in the uh, course number one method
minus 1 in the ghost bond here to rotate back to the original data so here in this code I already find the angle so you know the angle it needs to rotate 37 by 46 right but you don't know this this, this degree they rotate in which direction counterclockwise or crosswise you don't know so the idea is you have to assume this rotation matrix this value and then uh, you need to ch check if uh, the condition is satisfied so new uh, data needs to be rotated clockwise and similarly you can do it but the problem here is the Z code is not the same, so that's why here I don't I keep the Z code in the same. Now we run this to see about the result. I see. Okay, in this case, it's exactly uh, is correct now. Nah? In this example, in here, you can check. change to be the uh, new example for example in test 2 let's see ok so you see good you can rotate parallel with uh, the rotation then let's see ah it can rotate but still and when you zoom or you see here see uh, there are some small error that you can see when you zoom out you see ah so you know why our methods is correct but do you know why it's awkward because there are small error there are small error when you use this rotation matrix BCA obtained from BCA so there will exist some small error that's why that's why I we will go to this method in the base okay the second option to, 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 to see how about the result okay so this is the cost for this uh, for this methods okay for this methods and I will explain one way first, first we also use PCA to find the eigen better of the input data and in this case you need to find the angle to rotate to rotate the data to be parallel to OS and OY but actually we don't know the direction of the rotation so in this case we use a rotation matrix by using the formula right and using the formula here as you see here also here okay and in this case I have some dust is rotates cross Y Right, cross Y, and so that's, that's why we you have this uh, rotation matrix, and then you can find the linear data, but because here you assume, so you need to check the assumption to make sure that the original data rotates cross Y direction with this angle, it corrects or not? Because you know uh, when the new data will generate this so they 
eigenvector should be equal to this otherwise it needs to rotate uh, in the uh, in the opposite direction this is the idea why you have here right that's why and we will check here okay we will check number one You see, it's correct now. Nah? Okay, they wrote this correctly parallel with OS and OY. And after you know that direction of the rotation matrix is counter Y or counter clock Y or close Y you just rotate back the data so in this case you just call node rotation matrix is inverse you just put inverse side it should be inverse again so you know already know right and then similarly you can find Okay, let's see. Okay, so in this case, it exactly what is this that you see? Okay, right? Correct? So okay, so you can find a test about this here. Yes, good. Okay, now we test with one more example. We test with test 2. Can you see? They also rotate successfully, and in this case, they can define the ro rotation matrix. Ah, uh, you see, ah, uh, here, right? You see, ah, uh, you see rotation matrix. Then they define correctly. Okay, and then we run the next next okay after that rotation matrix you see just inverse direction you see rotation matrix the second rotation matrix apply to the ro the ro ro rotation data and, and you see in this case no error exactly good you see wrote as correctly the same mm, you see the same with the original data and now you can check for more detail yep p original data and you see the rotate back data right you see exactly the same exactly the same nothing is front Okay. Very good. That's why. And here I will show you the full full coding. As you can see, this is the full coding of this method. So finally, I recommend use you use you. I recommend you to use this you see from this rotation rotation matrix tree okay so you can find some example here more detail also